and going out there, hanging out with the younger guys and leading those guys. We had a young group in the secondary, and just to be out there and learn a lot of the things about them, and learn a lot of different positions, you know, it helped me as a leader on and off the field. What's it like to get this opportunity at the combine? It means a lot to me, you know. Being here, my dad has done it, you know, following his footsteps. You always watch the combine when you're little. You come out here and you just come out here to compete and perform. What have you been doing since the season to prepare yourself? Where have you been training? What have you been emphasizing? I'm out at Exos in Frisco, and then I'm training with the best DB coach in the world, Clay Mack, man. He's been getting me right. Been with him for a while. I'm just working hard, man. What are some goals that you have for yourself this week in the testing? Uh, yeah, some goals to just also, you know, blow, blow the testing out the water. You know, I've seen what some people think on the test, and I want to blow some of those things out the water. And just so a lot of people, I'm a lot better than what they think I am, and a lot more athletic. I definitely can do it all. You know, I can play the nickel spot, the money spot on third down, free and the strong. If you want me to line up at Mac and we need, you know, to play quarter, I can do it all. I'm a safe that can come down in the box. I'm a safe that has range. I'm a safe that can go down and lock up your best tight end. So from a safety standpoint, a DB standpoint, I can do it all. What's it like having so many teammates here going through this with you? It's amazing, man. I miss my defensive teammates, man. I think some of them, you know, need to be here. But, you know, seeing my offensive guys and seeing the guys I was came up with and played with for a while and seeing those guys go out there and do well and perform, man, it means a lot. JR, have you had any uh, meetings with the Atlanta Falcons this week? I have not. Do you have anything planned with them? Uh, not sure, not sure. Hopefully I do, though. Jared, what, was like, what did you learn from your father about football, and, and did, you, did you learn anything from your uncle being on your defense? Definitely. From my dad, man, one of the things I learned at an early age is you know, it's never too early to start being a pro. You got to start being a pro now. So if you want to be a pro, you got to start now. Don't wait till you get to the league. Don't wait till you get to college to act like a college player. You know, do it now. So that started at a young age. And then from my uncle, it's just to be mean, nasty, and, and get after the ball and get after everybody, man. And never stop, no matter how high you're up or how low you're down. Always play hard and always, you know, impose your will on your opponent. You talked about your versatility. Back when your father and your uncle played, it was more of a specialized game where you would kind of be, you know, pigeonholed into, into certain roles. And the tweeners, it was a bad thing to be kind of in between. But do you see that now as a benefit to you as far as versatility, flexibility? It's definitely a benefit, you know. To be able to do everything out there on the field, that means you know a lot, you know where your guys got to be up. And, you know, it's always a next man up lead. So I, I definitely think that's a great thing that I bring to the table, and I definitely think it's a good thing to have is to be very versatile. Jared, what was the injury? I, I remember you were you were headed to the bowl game, you were going through bowl practices, and then we just hurt a foot. What what happened that kept you out of that game? Just a minor tough turn injury that I just had to wait and let that heal up. Have, have you had any meetings with the Cowboys or the Texans this week? I met with the Cowboys the other day. I had an informal meeting with them. Nothing with the Texans? Nothing with the Texans at all. Okay. I guess it's very close, you know, me and Roquan, you know, when we had that run to the national championship, we were roommates. We still keep in contact. I've been up to Chicago to visit with him, man. And just being there and playing with him and some of those guys on that team was, was just amazing. And just seeing his work ethic and how he laid and some of the things I like to implement in my game. Just enjoy it. You know, he said enjoy it, take it all in, walk around with a smile on your face, man. You're here for a reason. What's it like to you it's amazing, you know, because we all know we're built for it. You know, that's what we talked about, me, him, and Tate Crowder. And I know all of us are going to have a bright future ahead. Kirby Smart, Mel Tucker, Coach Lennon, you know, Coach Shue, Coach Warren, all those guys over there, they have a mindset that is to win, and they love football. So, you know, going in every day and working, they always push me to be better. No matter how good I thought I was, how good people thought I was, they always push me to do better, especially Coach Smart, man. He did a great job giving me that opportunity, and he made me the same thing I am today. How about Lewis seen? He got to fill in for you. How proud of you to see Lewis fill in your shoes for that Baylor game? I'm very proud, man. Me and Lewis go way back, man. He's from Texas. I know his high school coach is my high school coach. And so, you know, I always pull Lewis aside, watch extra film with him like I do with all my guys. But he was my locker mate. He was right next to me, too. So he got a lot of my rip-ins and a lot of me getting on to him and coaching him up all the time.
you said they were you know, talking about the offensive guys that were here, and you said there were some defensive guys that wish were here. Uh, who are they? Uh, man, a lot of the defensive senior guys. We had like one of the best defenses in the nation. You got Tyler Clark missing, Tay Crowder missing. You know, you got Michael Barnett, guys like that that played a pivotal role in our defense that need to be here. And I, you know, they're going to shock the world. They're going to go out and work hard. They're going to do a great job at their pro day. You know, and I believe in all of them. You didn't start out at Georgia. You transferred in. When you were at Tulsa, did you think that, hey, I'm going to be here? Oh, most definitely. You know, this is the end goal. You want to be here. I'm not done yet. You know, you dream about being here. This is where I want to be. And I'm going to go out here and compete and show everybody why I'm the best safety here.